too hot, and in the winter much too cold. And in the springtime, when the weather's just right, you find someplace else to go. Well, it's up to the mountain, or down to the beach, or to visit some old friend. Or just stay home and relax, and hope some of the camp folks start dropping in. Well, the church benches are too hard. And the choir sings way too loud. And boy, you know how nervous you get sitting in a great big crowd. Now, the doctor says you better watch them crowds. They'll set you back. But you'll catch that old ball game because you say it helps you to relax. Well, a headache Sunday morning or a backache Sunday night. But by work time Monday morning, why, you're feeling quite all right. Why, one of the children has a cold. Pneumonia, do you suppose? Why, the whole family had to stay home. Just a little bit, poor kids know. Excuses, excuses, you hear them every day. Now the devil he'll supply them if from church you stay away. When people come to know the Lord, the devil always loses. So to keep them folks away from church, he offers them excuses. Well, the preacher, he's too young. Or maybe he's too old. The sermons, they're not hard enough, or maybe they're too bold. This voice is much too quiet. Sometimes it gets too loud. He needs to have more dignity. Or else he's way too proud. Now the sermons, they're too long. Or maybe they're too short. No way. He ought to preach the word with dignity instead of stomp and snort. Well, that preacher we got's got to be the world's most stuck-up man. Well, one of the ladies told me the other day. Well, he didn't even shake my hand. Excuses, excuses, you hear them every day. Now the devil hears supply them if from church you stay away. When people come to know the Lord, the devil always loses. So to keep them folks away from church, he offers them excuses. So to keep them folks away from church, he offers them excuses.